So you have a camera and you have a microphone. Your camera has an audio record level and your mic also has a gain control. You plug your microphone into your camera and you're seemingly getting a good audio signal. But then in editing, you listen back to it and it sounds like garbage. And this is because you didn't set the correct audio recording levels. So in this video, we're going to talk about what you should set your camera to, what you should set your mic to, why you should do that, and listen to examples of correct settings and incorrect settings so you can take this information and apply it to your equipment. But before we get started, I wanna know what combination of camera and microphone you're using. So if you're a content creator, let us all know down in the comments below. So for the purposes of this video, I am using my Sony ZV E10 and I have my Rode VideoMic NTG plugged directly into it. All of the audio that you'll hear in this video is recorded with that setup. Right now I have it set to what I think is the most optimal recording setting. But if you don't have a background in audio engineering, you might not know how to achieve that. So today I'm gonna lay it out for you in the most simple terms. So when it comes to cameras and microphones, there is usually one rule that you should follow. Let your audio equipment do the heavy lifting. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, your camera was built to take photos and video and its ability to record audio is, I mean, let's just say it, it's secondary. It's not the priority when it comes to the input jack that is in your camera. Your microphone, on the other hand, was designed specifically for audio purposes. I mean, that's its number one job, to pick up your audio as cleanly as it can. So if you have a camera and you have a microphone and each of them has an audio record level, your best bet is to set your microphone record level higher and your camera record level lower. This is something that you might have heard of as gain staging, where we have different pieces of equipment that have different options for adjusting levels. And we need to determine which one comes first, which one takes priority, which one should be higher, which one should be lower. So in this case, I have my Rode VideoMic NTG set to a level of 14. I don't have any low cuts engaged or any other settings, and this audio is unprocessed, so straight from the microphone into my camera. My Sony ZV-E10 record level is set to four. This means that my microphone is doing the bulk of the work when it comes to picking up my voice, and the camera is doing as little work as possible, because really, it's focusing on recording video. Now, let's see what incorrect gain staging sounds like. So first, I'm going to turn my video mic NTG down to a lower level. For the sake of extremists, let's say uh, two. And then I'm going to raise my Sony ZV-E10 audio record level to a much higher level. Okay, so now my Rode video mic NTG is set to a level of two, and my Sony ZV-E10 is set to an audio record level of 25. Now, from my meter on my camera, I can see that the level is about the same as it was before. But you should be able to hear a dramatic difference in audio quality. And that's because the camera's preamps are trying to do more work than they're really capable of doing. And my microphone, which is designed for audio, is pretty much doing nothing. So while the meters on my camera both look the same visually, audibly, you can hear a significant difference. Okay, I can't do this anymore. Uh, let's just go back to what it was before. Okay, that sounds a lot better. So if you're a content creator, you can take this information and apply it to your specific camera and microphone, provided that they both have some sort of audio level adjustment. If that's something like an attenuation or pad switch, where engaging it causes your mic level to go from zero dB to like minus 10 or minus 20 dB, start with that at zero and then adjust your camera audio record level accordingly. So now you should have much clearer audio with your equipment. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again real soon.